Hello everyone. My name is Vanifa Ramacho. I work as a fast track solution architect within Microsoft Dynamics 365 team. In this tech talk, I am going to present how we can quickly create emails using the new elements available within Dynamics 365 marketing. As you may already know, uh, Dynamics 365 marketing uses email as a vital marketing channel for most modern organizations. The email feature is the core of Dynamics 365 marketing, so which provides tools for creating graphical rich marketing emails with dynamic and personalized content. Marketing can send large volume of data so marketeers can easily create personalized marketing emails and understand what the destination party choose to do with those same emails. They can also create customer journey automation based on these interactions and uh, can also present results both for individual contacts and with aggregate statistical analytics. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how marketeers can include in the marketing email the new elements available. Before we proceed with the demo details, uh, there are a couple of important improvements that uh, we would like to highlight um, on the email editor. So first, uh, the workspace is now bigger. Uh, this means that the canvas area is bigger and the email header has become much simpler. So uh, it has just uh, email recipients and uh, email subject. Uh, then the preview feature was also improved. So beside the screen sizes, we now have um, different email clients available to test how the email will be visible uh, to the, the end recipient. Also, uh, toolbox only has two areas, so section layout and the standard elements marketeers can add to the emails. And last but not the least, uh, we have new elements and other improvements like the flexible column wind. Um, the elements that we can add now, like uh, for example, image, uh, button um, or video, uh, can have links to URLs, uh, marketing events, team check-in where you can directly check in into an event session, uh, marketing pages, uh, event surveys, and lastly, Add, we can add the session that's details directly to your calendar. So now, um, now the demo. So th this demo uh, will only cover basic functionality for just for simplicity purpose. So feel free to enhance it according to your business needs. So let's start uh, um, <coughs> the demo uh, by creating a new email. Let me just put here uh, marketing. OK, so we are here on the marketing, uh, dynamics marketing. So we have marketing execution, marketing email, and I am going to create a new uh, email. So the first thing that appears is that uh, we are able to uh, start from an email template already in the system uh, or uh, out of the box or ones that we created, or we can just skip it and start with a, uh, an empty email. So I'm going to skip today, OK? And the first step here will be to give a, a, a name to our email. So for example, for this demo, we are going to like create an email to use uh, in a customer journey that uh, will advertise information about um, readiness, uh, Dynamics 365 readiness for, that will happen in this summer. So let me just like uh, put Dynamics 365 readiness, for example. OK, so we have a title and then I have here the recipient. So it's from me uh, and then to the, the recipient destination will be a dynamic uh, field. OK, the email address for the contacts. And then the subject. So uh, when I when I want to click on the subject, just click on the line and uh, automatically uh, on the right side, it will open the email header um, section. OK, so the canvas area will be um, free for all the elements. So for the subject, I'm just going to put like. Um, uh, no, like uh, Dynamics 365 Summer Training. and we can put like a pre-header like come and join our sessions something like this um then i have here the information about uh, the addresses okay and then 
uh, we can start to build our um, our uh, email body. So if I want to put um, drag and drops the the normal elements, so I have here the text, the image button, and so on. So what I can do is just drag the text um, from the toolbox and um, and here and here I can personalize the the text. So imagine I'm going to say like uh, uh, dear customer. I'm going to um, leave a, a space because we might need to personalize this. Let me just finish the text. So dear, um, welcome to this to 2001 summer training. Okay and start like this and uh, now I would like to personalize the greetings okay so instead of have the uh, customer or, uh, or just here I want to put uh, um, the contact first name so what I put here is like dear and then I uh, use the personalization option so for this to work we you um, you must add the recipient name as a dynamic text okay so for, to do that we just go to personalization go to dynamic content select the entity contact okay and then on the relationship i'm going to select no relationship okay because what i need here is to select the first name for the contact entity and then here select field i'm going to write like first name and here it is okay so the 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 field will be first contact first name contact entity first name is the field so insert and then i will have the year something first name and then welcome to 2021 summer training okay so now i would like to use um other set uh, other um, elements so imagine i would like to put here an image so i'm going to drag and drop the the image okay and when i have an image i can uh, just uh, browse on the library okay upload uh, data to the library or uh, write uh, uh, an url and uh, use that image so for Demo proposes already add um, an image to the library. Okay, so I'm going to do browse library and it will uh, show uh, the files that I already have there. So I'm going to select this one, get started with Dynamics 365. Okay, and it has a um, normal image. I have here the style that I can change, can uh, um, change the way I see it. Uh, the other option I have available for the for the um, the image is that I can link it to another type of uh, I can do another type of action. So link I can link to URL, event, team check-in, marketing page, survey and add to calendar like it was described on the on the deck. So if I want to to create this um, link just want to I just need to select the, the um, Click on the picture. For now, I will just leave it as a, a normal um, image. Okay, so uh, the rest of the email, I can like, for example, if we are advertising training, so I can maybe put a, a video that explain uh, what is um, what is the summer readiness all about. And for example, uh, I'm, I can add uh, a button. So for example, uh, I can. Um, I can put like uh, columns here just to change the layout. Uh, I can just showing how we can uh, work with the columns too. So I can come here, specify that this column has a, um, an image too. I can do browse library. I will select this blue sky here. Okay, have this option here. Um, I can go to the style, change the, the, the way I see it, content alignment, spacing. For example, I can specify that, uh, I don't know, like 30 here, and I will see that uh, uh, this third column will have a different um, layout. So now um, what I can do, so besides I, I have here um, a text and I have changed the, the way I see it, so maybe I can drag and drop a button here, okay, and uh, I can say that the button will um, will be like a, a registration button. So if you like, uh, if you like to join the sessions, you need to come here and you need to do the registration. Okay, so first I'm going to put like uh, text here so it will be the registration I have the option to change the color for example if I want 
Okay, um, and in this scenario, so when I click on the registration button, what do I want this to, to do? So I'm going to link this, for example, to the event. Okay, and uh, here on the event, I'm going to look for it. So this was already created for demo purposes. Okay, and I have here Dynamic Summer 2021. Okay, so when I click on the registration, it will open the, the browser with the, the uh, Dynamic Summer 2001 registration window. Okay, so directly to the registra event registration. Um, then here I can put like, uh, uh, let me go to back to the elements and for example here I can um, add the video that explains how um, how um, the Dynamics 265 brands will happen. So when I have a button here, uh, sorry, a video here, I can come to the video URL and uh, um, when I click it, I can put that the URL or I can browse the library, I'm going to browse the library. And uh, again, for demo purposes, I already added one. So I have here Dynamics 365 training sessions, okay? And for this to work, we need to always to have video URL thumbnail URL and embedded code. OK, so I already added this uh, information, so I'm going to select this one. And I have here the video. However, um, don't have um, a thumbnail um, showing up, so I can just change it if I want. Go to browse library again or select one of the other options. And I'm going to select this, for example, more info on the get started with Dynamics 365. OK, again, I can um, change the, um, the size and the alignment of the entire layout. I'm going to save this. OK. Uh, and I'm going to um, do the preview and test because at the moment, uh, so the image is not appearing here, but um, let me just uh, um, Share this to see if it appears. OK, so right now what I have is um, so I have a, a, the greetings personalized. I have an image that I attach here. Uh, I have a small video and I have a third column with an image and I also have a button that will um, call the event web page. So now I would like to do a preview and test, okay, to see how it looks in the desktop. So this was the option that uh, the, the option that we had available before. Now we can go to the email clients and we can select one of the other uh, type of customers. So I can go to uh, iPhone 11, for example, okay, it will consume credits. And it will show uh, how it will look on an iPhone 11 Pro. OK, with this OS. OK, so we will see here. So this is the greetings and then the first image, then um, the video and then the last one, the registration data um, address and uh, and subscribe information. OK, so this is a for iPhone 11 and we can select another one and it's uh, Outlook 2016. And we have much more, so I have here on the Chrome section and Windows section. Okay, so here it will be how you can see it on Outlook 2016 uh, machine. Okay. Um, okay, so let me come here. Okay, so uh, the other option that we have is that uh, we can do like check content and it will check if there is any errors, any risk associated with the email that we just. Um, just uh, created and if all is um, is uh, good we can do the go live you can also do the test send and it will send to an email that you provide or if it is okay just to go live and the email will be ready to uh, be using the customer journey so here just to summarize so what we did so uh, we have the personalized greetings, we have the, tech, the, the, um, the image, we have a video, so if I select here, I will have the video uh, opening. And if I have, if I go to the registration, I can like 
to like this, open a new tab and it will open an event management uh, window that uh, is uh, the registration for Dynamic Summer 2021. OK. And that's it. So the last one will be go live. And now that is live, uh, like I was saying, so it is ready to be used in a customer journey. OK. And uh, this is it. So the demo uh, was this one. So uh, I hope it was a useful tech, tech talk for you. Um, thank you very much for listening. Um, have a great day. Thank you.